G'day fellas, Billy here. Well, this here fellas is a really old, probably 19, post 1920s era water heater. Um, so these will be heated up with um, fire, charcoal and so forth. And this is how the people back in the old days would heat up their water to do their uh, washing uh, and having hot showers and so forth. So. I'll take it apart guys and I'll show you what they look like. These are extremely, well I think they are anyway, extremely collectible. Um, so if you ever do come across these, don't scrap them. Even though they're worth a lot of money for scrap, like something like this, we be worth about $200. But i tell you what guys, once these are all polished up, they look absolutely beautiful. Very um, kind of arty. Um, these would look absolutely beautiful in someone's home like an old home from the 1900s era, all polished up. So if you've got kids, you can get the kids to polish them up. Um, and yeah, you know, put in the corner of a beautiful old 1900s house. So what we'll do, I'm taking it apart slowly. You've got to be careful of these fellas because sometimes they've got a lot of asbestos insulation, but this one hasn't. Um, so we'll take off the rest of this tin and I'll show you what it looks like once it's completely, this tin's completely removed. Like I say, if you come across them, as tempting as it may, as tempting as it is, guys, and I've done it before with um, big water heaters, probably two or three times bigger than this, cash them in with huge regrets, but I've really needed to do it, guys, to survive and pay bills. Um, and now that my finance, my finance situation is getting a lot better, um, I'm going to keep this one, and eventually we'll sell it, or if not. I don't know. Yeah, we'll definitely sell it. And I'll tell you what, guys, like this one here is worth about 200 bucks. I reckon if, that, if you even, that could easily sell for $500 to a collector or, you know, someone renovating a beautiful old home. So we'll take it apart and I'll show you what it looks like, guys, and hopefully I won't do any damage to my angle grinder. I'll be very careful, but no, we should be all right. All right, so we'll just cut. What I'm going to do is cut down here in a square like that. Same with that one and the other one, and then we should be able to pull it out. And even, fellas, if you're really keen, this whole cylindrical container, you'd even sell that for 20 bucks to um, at the markets and stuff, because these come in handy for people storing old brooms and toys and everything else so just got to use your imagination guys it's a nice rustic piece of tin but this one here it's got too many holes in it but I have got a nice collection of them around somewhere so we'll continue cutting So we've cut that, so we'll try and remove it. I'll just set up my camera. <coughs> Still got that awful cough, fellas. It's getting a little bit better. So here it comes. that guys beautiful piece of copper so I'm sure you can understand how that would look really really nice polished up in the corner of someone's house and yeah and these actually sell there's a little tiny dent in there but that's all right but yeah this is beautifully polished up nice and gold um, yeah it looked absolutely lovely in the corner of someone's house, 1900's house, or there's so many things you could do with it, guys. You could actually cut the top off, 
and use it for a broomstick holder or something like that or an umbrella stand and so many other things so I, there's no way I'm going to catch this one fellas or keep this one it's not worth it you know like I say this one here would probably be worth between 150 to 200 dollars you could sell it on eBay or Craigslist or whatever you, you want to use for four or five hundred dollars so beautiful beautiful score and like I say I have actually scrap probably around 10 of these but they're really hard to find these days because they're getting rarer and rarer so best tip ever guys whatever you do come across the old copper water heaters don't cash them for scrap sell them on ebay or triple the profit thanks guys hope you enjoyed the video see ya More junk added to the backyard fellas and here this is all the insulation this is stuff you've got to be careful of because it could easily contain asbestos but this one isn't this is like a foam based material anyway we'll get rid of that